Okay, so I haven't been here for a What I was trying to say is that I've been gone for a while. Again. So this time, where the heck have I been? Honestly, the end of 2021 and like a majority of what we're doing now in 2022, I've just been busy. This has definitely been my most productive year when it comes to film. I hadn't really had time to update it here on YouTube. So that's kind of why I've been on a hiatus these past couple of months. I've live streamed some events, done a bunch of freelance work, and I even got to direct one of my biggest short films that I've done. This is my first film festival award that I got, and it was for my documentary style, which if you haven't seen, I'll be sure to leave a link up here, as well as in the description. I've just been so grateful, and they even gave me $5,000 to direct my next short film because I was also the grand prize winner of this entire festival. That was an amazing experience. It was nine months of pre-production. We just finished production last week and now we're heading into post. I'll definitely be doing a scene breakdown as well as a behind the scenes when that film is completed. It may not be released until sometime next year though because it still has to do its whole film festival run and hopefully find distribution, but it, it's gonna be awesome. When we finally wrapped, my executive producer actually gave me this monkey statue, which is a key prop that's going to be used in the film. It's just been really, really cool. Just this whole experience, you know, I know I, I just I want to talk a lot about this short film. I really do because it was just so awesome and so amazing. But, you know, I do want to keep some things, you know, a secret and um, yeah, you know. So if you guys also remember a couple of videos ago, I did a unboxing video again if you haven't seen it link up here as well as in the description well one of the main things that i opened on that video was my brand new camera i've been using it now for a little over a year so this is my camera the black magic pocket cinema camera 6k pro i have a tilt a cage wrapped around it i have a follow focus right here map box i was even thinking of adding some longer rods here so that way I can kind of put it on my shoulder like this and then have a handle right here so that way I can kind of use it as a shoulder rig, have my monitor right around here, you know. I've definitely been using this a lot when it comes to, like I said, some freelance work that I've done. I've actually been editing something right now on this camera and I've been using DaVinci Resolve, which came with the camera, so that's also a plus. I even got an SSD drive so I can hook it up to the top of the camera that I've been using also as a hard drive while I'm editing. So I may even upgrade my follow focus and my matte box. And then, like I said, add a small monitor on top or on the side. Again, as a filmmaker, you know, this gear and stuff, you know, it, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter again, what kind of gear you use. It really just matters on the story and how you tell it is really what makes a film great. Doesn't matter if it's filmed on a $50,000 cinema camera or an iPhone. So now that I gave you a little update on what I've been doing, what's next on YouTube? I did mention that I was gonna do a camera review of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, which I probably will do because now that I've had a full year of toying around with it, I can definitely tell you the things that I like about it and the things that I don't like about it. Like I said, I'm still in post-production on this short film that I just wrapped, so that's definitely gonna keep me busy up until possibly October. I just wanted to make this quick little video just to showcase what I've been doing so far and why I've been so busy and haven't really been on YouTube. So yeah, any videos that I plan on making, again, I will have a link of them in the description. Like I mentioned, my review of the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. I still need to do a behind the scenes of my big sick video, which I will do. Even some more Sessa stories because I... I've, I've had a couple of funny stuff happen this past year and oh man, you know, it's definitely just been so crazy So so exciting, you know, I'm, I'm really really excited to see my filmmaking journey just kind of Build and build and build and getting somewhere now. So I'm just really excited. So thank you guys for tuning in on this little update video and uh
Ja.